Hey YouTube, it's Will from Wilbrett Design. Uh, today we're going to be looking at overlays and how to build interactive overlays in Figma. Um, there's a few ways to do it, but there's some really nice built-in tools that you can use to actually achieve overlays. And when I say overlays, I'm meaning things like modals, pop-ups, that kind of thing. Um, and I've, I've got a few examples here. Essentially, this is the first example I'm going to run through, and this is the second one. And the second one is probably the better option, but I'm gonna show you the first option first because I think this is what most people are doing. Um, if you're coming from software like Sketch and things like that, then you've probably been doing it this way. But there's a really nice way in Figma to be able to do modals and overlays, and we'll look into that shortly. So, let's have a look at the first option. So we've just got a really uh, simple mock-up here. Um, this mock-up isn't something I've created, I've actually gone to the community and I've downloaded this Impact wireframe kit, which is really cool. Um, they've given it away for free, loads of people like it, make sure you like it if you use it. Uh, not sure what that did. But um, yeah, so you can just search up here for Impact or you can go for other lo-fi wireframing tools. Um, so that's low fidelity. And yeah, so that's what I'm using here. So just thought I'd give them a quick shout out and not claim um, that I did this work. So we're just gonna be using this, these pre-made templates that are actually available in the example apps section um, for this video tutorial. Right, so we've got um, some projects here and what we wanna do is, if you click on a project, you're actually taken to this edit project modal where you can edit your project. And you can also delete your project here and this will bring up this little pop-up asking you if you're sure you want to delete it. So how would we do this traditionally? Well, we'd go in and we'd find this icon, we'd link it to here, we do an on-click, whatever we want here, let's just do instant for now, and then we'd go through and do the same here, do the same here. And then here we would do a, a back, because we want to cancel that and go back to this screen um, and delete. We, we're going to leave delete for now because I haven't created um, a screen to support this, but deleting it would delete that project in theory. So that's that. And then we're going to do the same for this. And this is just to actually open our projects and same again, same again. So what we've got here, we've got a really simple prototype here where we've got these different um, UI elements opening up different screens using interactive elements. So let's open that prototype up. <clears throat> so here we go. We've got our uh, screen here, clicking in, opens it as expected. And deleting it again as expected so it looks great absolutely fine um, and it, it works nicely but we have a better option and this is where overlays come in so you might have seen if I just select one of these in your actions here you've got a navigate to a change to a non open overlay swap overlay close overlay back, scroll to, and open link. So we're actually gonna be focusing on these three and potentially this one as well. So what I've got is I've got my screen here. This is my actual UI screen. I've got a, um, a frame here with essentially this modal here, but we don't have to have this whole screen behind. And we've got another modal here. So what we're gonna do is the same as before. We're gonna select this and we're going to drag it to this element here. Instead, we're going to do open overlay. And you see this has changed here. And we've got a load of new settings here that we can play with. So what we've got here is our overlay alignment. Um, currently set to centered, but you can choose any of these. And we've also got manual, which is quite nice. And if we click manual, we get like a, a kind of ghostly version of this appearing and we can put this precisely where we want it. And this isn't useful for this example, but for example, you had a kind of an overflow menu and you clicked it and you wanted to drop down to appear right next to that button. 
that would be a perfect example of when to use this. So I'm actually just going to select centered for this and you see it's this bit because we know it's just going to center on the screen. Down here we've got close when clicking outside so if we were when this appears if you click anywhere outside you it will automatically close this modal and that's kind of um, expected behavior of UI um, these days. You don't have to do that and um, Maybe you have a use case where that's not the best user experience, but for the most case, that is probably the best user experience. It saves users having to carefully select the cancel. They could just click out if they don't want to see that modal pop up. Also, we've got a add background behind overlay. So that, that is the actual overlay itself. Um, so by default, we've got a uh, black with 25% opacity, and that will appear behind this overlaying the screen so that this modal is the uh, primary focus and everything else is um, knocked back a bit. So let's just have a quick look at that before we move on. Here we go. And I believe it was this one I clicked. And as soon as I click it, you'll see it will instantly appear with a bit of an overlay. There we go. So we can see this little kind of slightly knocked back. Um, and if we click outside, it will close. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's make that a little bit nicer. Let's go through and change the animation and let's make it a dissolve and we'll do a nice ease out dissolve. So it starts instantly and then slowly eases out and we'll do it over 300 milliseconds as default. So there we go. It's just a little bit nicer. I would argue that's a bit too slow and that would add a bit of friction to your user experience. But for this example, it's perfectly fine. So we have done that. That's what we want. Brilliant. So what do we want? We want to be able to close this. So let's on the cancel. You can see on, we've somehow it's already automatically added it. That's probably because I added it earlier, but uh, we got an on click and that will close the overlay. Perfect. We actually want save to do the same thing because we haven't got anything to change. It will just return to the screen for the purposes of this video. So on click, we want to go to close overlay, like so. Brilliant. So next we need to do the same for delete. So on our, in fact, let's just do that quickly. Make sure these all open that overlay and it has all that same behavior from this one overlay. And before I move on to the next one, just just to explain why this is better than this option up here. So you could have this uh, modal appear on pretty much any screen in your app. Say you've designed um, other, other pages in your design where you can also access this modal. Instead of having to do a single screen for every single one, you could just have this one element here and you could link to it and that would use this so you only have to create it once. It's a big time saver. It also means it's much easier to come in and refine your designs later and you've got all the access to all of this cool stuff here. So let me catch my breath. And we're doing the same with delete. So like before, we're going to drag that over to this frame. We're going to select open overlay. And again, And again, perfect. So we've got the exact same settings as before, or we did, I expected we did, but we don't. So I'm just gonna add those in now. Cancel, we've got a close on there already. Um, we're not gonna do anything with delete right now. So let's have a look at that. And then there's one more thing I'd quite like to do. <clears throat> so on delete, there we go, we've got really nice Really nice little interaction there. And we're not having to create multiple screens and it's a big time saver. Okay, so that's everything for overlays. Um, I hope that was really helpful. And what we'll do in a future video is we will look at some of these other options. Um, perhaps we'll do back, scroll to, open link. And we'll do a bit more of a deep dive on interaction basics. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also drop a, 
a message in the comments below letting me know what you would like to see in a future video. It really helps me come up with ideas and create these tutorials for you. As always, these are free, so please spread the word. Um, the idea is to build this channel as big as possible, to reach as many people as possible, and do a knowledge share and improve design as a general. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.